it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day nine of my 2020 holiday card series. Today I'm going to be using Sunny Studios Penguin Pals and Winter Scenes. So I've stamped out the images I'll be using on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink and I will be coloring with my Copic markers. So I wanted to do something a little different today for my penguins. Um, I didn't want to color them just a plain gray or black, so I'm going to do them in navy blue. And so I'm using B34, B37, and B39. Starting with that B39, just laying in a little shadow, and then blending out with that B37. So they still will be quite dark um, and just have a little bit of highlight with the B34. I'm going to fill in their sides with the B37 and add a little shadow right above the beak. And then I'll come back and fill in any remaining white spaces with that B34. So I'm just making sure to catch the edge of the B37 and pull it into the lighter area with the B34 uh, so that it creates a nice blend since there is a big step down between those markers. And then I'll color the second penguin exactly the same, just taking that B39, that darkest shade, and putting a shadow on the top of his wings, kind of where they're turned down so that the ends are going to look even more flipped up because they will we'll have the highlight. And then I added a little bit of darkness on the sides of his body and his face and in between his eyes right above his beak. And then again, blending out with that B37 and filling in his sides with that shade. And then I'll just save a little bit of room for that lightest color, the B34. And like I said at the beginning, you could definitely color these guys with some warm or cool grays. But I think um, just going a little outside the box adds an unexpected little bit of humor or fun to it. For the whites of their bodies, I'm using C0 and C1, just adding a little bit of shading, mainly on the right hand side above their eyes. I'll also add some under this guy's scarf and just a little bit down the right side of his body and around the light bulbs that are in front of his belly. And then I'll do the same shadows on the second little guy under his scarf and down the right hand side. And then I'll bring in the C0 and just trace on the outside edge of that C1 so that it softens it into the white areas. For the beaks and feet, I'm going to use YR12 and YR14. Just a quick little bit of that YR14 first. And then I'm going to come in with the YR12 and fill in any white space. Just thought that would be also a different unexpected combo. I usually do um, YR04 and YR07. It's a little bit brighter. And then for the antler horns on the first little guy, I'm going to use E51 and E53. Just adding a bit of shading first with that E53. And then I'll come in with a few quick swipes of that E51 to blend that out. My next combo is RV13, RV14, and RV17. And I'm going to color the center section of the second penguin's little stocking cap. So I used the RV17 on the right hand side and above the brim, and blend it out with the RV14 and then the RV13. And then I'm also going to color in a few of the light bulbs in the other penguin's arms with the RV17 and then RV14. Then I'm moving on to BG02, BG05, and BG07. I'm going to use those to color in the penguin on the right's scarf. So I added a little of that BG07 to either side and also to the bottom of his um, scarf so that it looks like it's kind of flipping up and then blending that out with the BG05. And then I'll fill in the back side of the 
um, part that's hanging down and then the center of the part that's wrapped around his neck with the BG02. And there wasn't quite enough contrast on there for me, so I did go back and add a second layer with that BG07 and the BG05 and then a little of that BG02 again, but I didn't take it all the way to the middle. And then I'm also going to color in a few of the light bulbs with that BG05. I just decided to do the one color on those. For the band on the pink one on the left's head, I'm going to use R22, R29, and R39. Again, just a little R39 on either side. And then blending up with the R29, I also filled in the stamp on the letter with the R29, and then filled in the top of that band with the R22, and then used the R29 to color in a few more light bulbs. And then for his scarf, I'm going to use some green. So I chose G40, G43, and G46. Starting with the G46 from either side, and then also from the bottom edge of the scarf. And then I'm going to blend that out with the G43. Now there is quite a bit of colorless splendor in the next shade, the G40. So again, I will have to go over everything with a second layer just to increase that saturation and smooth out the transition areas. Right now they're super prominent, but by going over that coloring with that second layer of markers, which goes really super quick because you know all the positions of each shade are laid out for you already, um, it just really helps smooth things out. I'm also going to color in the letter with these shades. Um, I think it's super cute. It's stamped North Pole, so that's obviously his letter for Santa. Very important. So I just put that G46 in the lower left corner since I'm going to have it tipped in that direction and then blended toward the top right with the G43 and then the G40 and again went over all of that with a second layer just to smooth everything out. And then I'm going to take the G46 and color in the rest of the light bulbs. And then I'm going to use BG10 to color in the white parts on the penguin on the right hat. I'm also going to color in the snow piles on top of the igloo. And then I'll also just kind of trace the lines on the igloo as well to give it that frosty glow. It's just real quick and easy. I'm doing a little line to the right of each of the black lines and then underneath for the lines that are going across. And then I will grab a white Sakura Jelly Roll pen and just dot over the whites of their eyes to make them just a little bit brighter. And then I'll trim all of these images out with their coordinating dies. The pattern papers that I'm using today are from the Holiday Cheer 6x6 pack. So I'm just flipping through and choosing two prints. I wanted this blue snowflake print and then there's a white polka dot. So those are the two that I'm going to cut down. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take the outer die from the Frilly Frames Quatrefoil and die cut the white polka dot with that. And I'm also going to take one of the layered snowflake frames and I'm going to position that towards the top of that panel and tape that into place with some post-it tape as well. And then I'll run that whole thing through my die cutting machine and just peel out the inner portion of that. So that's going to create that really pretty frame with the delicate snowflake detail. I'm going to pop that in my Misty and stamp my sentiment on the bottom of that panel. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Plastic Flamingo ink to stamp its penguining to look a lot like Christmas. And I am going to stamp that down a few times since this is a brand new um, sentiment that I have not used before. So I just stamped it down a few times to get a nice impression. Then I'll set that aside and pop my card base in my Misty I'm using a piece of snow cone cardstock from MFT and stamping with Lawn Fawn Merman ink. And I'm going to use another one of the penguins and some snowflakes 
plus a sentiment from the Inside Greetings holiday that says, um, may the season be full of light and laughter for you and your family. So I've trimmed down that snowflake print to be my focal panel and I also cut out a couple of snowy hillsides using the Slimline Nature borders. So I'm using the frame to position those on that background and then I will adhere those into place using some liquid glue. I'll layer those two on top of each other down at the bottom edge of that panel and then once that glue has dried, I will flip them over and trim off the excess. I've cut down some foam tape and added thin strips of that to the back of my frame. So I'm going to peel off the release papers on all of those except for the very bottom strip. And I'm going to pop that up right over the uh, background. So I'm lining that up and making sure that it's straight and then pressing that down into place. And then I'll add some liquid glue to the back of the pattern paper and peel off that last strip of foam tape and adhere that to the front of my card base. I decided that I needed that hill to be a little bit higher on the right hand side. So I trimmed down another snow bank and I'm going to slide that behind the top one. And that is going to be the perfect place to adhere my igloo. So I will grab that and adhere that over on the top right of that snowbank. Then I'll grab the penguin with the stocking cap and I will also adhere him on the right, but he's gonna go all the way down on the bottom snow drift. So I'm gonna carefully tuck him back behind those snowflakes and then I will take the last little guy with his strings of lights and I'm going to tuck him over on the left hand side. So again just carefully lifting up those snowflakes and sticking him back behind so it looks like we're looking at them through this kind of frosty window pane. And then I added the letter to Santa in the uh, penguin at the bottom's hand. And I also took a couple of snowflakes that are separate in that die. I cut some of them out of the leftover white cardstock, or white pattern paper, I should say, and some of them out of the blue. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want those on the card. Um, trying to use very little glue because they're super delicate and I didn't want uh, the glue to get all over. So I'm just trying to add that and um, kind of smear it around with my fingertip so that it's not on there very thick and then um, pop those down into place. So I added two blue snowflakes kind of kitty corner there, one at the top right and one at the bottom left of that frame to just accent. And then there were a couple of half snowflakes that die cut only partially because I was just using the leftover bit of pattern paper. So I adhered those towards the bottom and just kind of line them up with the edge of the card to make them uh, look like they're, you know, um, going beyond the scene. And then I had one last little white snowflake that was a whole one. And I decided to add that overlapping the top of the igloo just a little bit. As a final embellishment, I'm taking some crystal stickles and adding that to the edge of the snowfall on top of the igloo and also to the hat brim and pom-pom on the penguin on the left's hat and then also to the headband and the little lights for the other penguin. And I put some on the stamp as well. <laughs> I also decided to just dot a few little drops on the background to just bring some of the sparkle toward the top of the scene. And that is going to complete my card for today. I'll tip that into the light so you can see all that sparkle and give you another peek at the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
And if you're interested in any of the products that I use today, you can find those listed and linked below the video. I just love that layered snowflake frame. It's so pretty. You can also find day nine of the previous two years of holiday card series on the screen right now. You can click on either one to check them out. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.